Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back to our English online class. Today's my topic is how to improve English listening skills. It is just a piece of cake. It is not so difficult as you are thinking. So what you need to do is to improve your uh, English listening skills so that you can have fluency in English. You can communicate in an excellent manner with uh, someone in English. Without improving your listening skills, it is highly impossible for us to speak in English. The first and foremost thing you should do is to improve your English listening skills by way of uh, listening to news on uh, uh, TV, radio, especially the NDTV and uh, BPC English News. I have already suggested you to do this. You need to watch these uh, channels regularly. Only then you can speak better English. Uh, you, you might have heard of uh, this uh, L L S R W. It is given in uh, 10, 11, 12 English textbook. Listening, speaking, reading and writing. So listening is in the first place. Without listening you cannot speak. Let us take an example. We are able to speak uh, uh, Tamil fluently. How did we learn to speak Tamil fluently? So how uh, is a child able to speak English very fluently? Did the child go to any uh, spoken classes uh, to learn Tamil uh, to speak English fluently? No. So, first of all, we need to listen. The child uh, listen to the conversation of uh, their uh, family members, parents, neighbors and with their friends. In this way only the child learned to speak uh, uh, Tamil fluently. So is the case with this. We too, when we are little children, uh, we developed our uh, uh, Tamil speaking skills by means of listening others. So is the case with uh, English as well. We can apply the same thing to English as well. What we need to do is to listen something every day and if you keep uh, practicing listening these uh, skills day by day you will find very good improvement. Most of the students are saying that uh, they find it very difficult to interact with uh, foreigners they say that they are uh, unable to uh, listen to them at all. Do you know the reason why? They can easily communicate with Indians. But when they have to hold conversation with foreigners, especially, especially English speaking people, the native speakers uh, from UK, USA, Canada, Australia. So they can't uh, speak very fluently. When we uh, have to talk over the phone, uh, we can't uh, answer uh, with the foreigners properly. It is due to lack of uh, proper uh, listening skills and because the native speakers speak very faster and uh, we find it very difficult and also we are struggling harder to listen to them. The reason is we do not know anything about phonetics. Their pronunciation is completely based on uh, phonetics. Um, for example, we are saying where are you coming from? What they are saying is where are you coming from? What are you doing? What are you doing? Their pronunciation is something different from us. And we are saying, who are you? Who are you? What are you doing? So they are speaking a little bit faster. But we can't uh, understand because we have not uh, learned the proper uh, pronunciation. And uh, we have not had enough practice to uh, listen to English regularly. And uh, listening plays an uh, important role in IELTS and TOEFL. In the IELTS examination, in order to get a visa to go to a uh, foreign country, especially that student visa, the test is conducted, uh, listening uh, takes first place. First of all, uh, we are uh, checked whether we are having capability of listening something or not. If you are very good at uh, listening, so we can score a high marks in that examination. Only then we can go and do our higher studies in foreign countries. In the same way, even in our uh, uh, state board curriculum, and CBSE curriculum that uh, listening is uh, there is one part. The students are asked to listen to uh, either monologue or dialogue uh, through some videos and we are asked to listen to them very carefully. After their conversation is over, uh, we are given a question paper and we are asked to write a test. So we can, uh, they can easily uh, judge our uh, skills uh, to what extent we are good at listening. If you are answering correctly for all those questions, so we are good at listening and if you are not able to understand the question or if you are not able to perform extremely well in the listening skills test, our performance is poor and we can't score good marks, we may not be able to get a pass in that uh, test especially that ILTS and TOEFL and uh, we need to listen 
uh, to the native speakers uh, english and their pronunciation is uh, slightly different from us because they are using different kinds of uh, slang or accent we too can acquire such skills by means of listening only so i want my students to listen at least for an hour every day uh, without fail and uh, after you have listened to that and you have to uh, try to recollect what you had uh, listened and uh, you can listen to some uh, stories and movies with subtitles for the first time you can uh, watch it uh, with uh, 